Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Everyone's asking the question, when will Bitcoin recover? I think we have to look at the hash rate because price generally follows hash rate. I know some people think it's the other way around, but I don't think that's true because you can see that hash rate has started to rebound and price has not started to rebound. I think price will actually have a delayed reaction to following hash rate. We know there's a lot of institutional adoption, but we also know there's a lot of regulations that are actually impeding and getting in the way. Specifically, obviously from China, India, the United States, and other countries. Can't really blame one country for this but it's kind of like a concerted effort by the world governments, the powerful ones anyways. But I believe that as hash rate goes up, price will actually follow. The question is, how long will it take? Well, you kind of have to analyze when we came down from the top. In um, Basically, we really started dropping um, in basically uh, mid-May. And it actually has taken about two months, almost exactly, to actually get to where we are right now. We have started to come up because we were at a low of 84 and now we're at a 97, which is a gain of 13 million hashes. The thing is, um, we came down from about 180, so we're still about 50% down and we're about 50% down in price right now as well. So you can see it actually correlates very, very well. Now, as you can see, the slope of recovery at this point is not quite the same slope as it uh, dipping back down. I mean, once China kicked all the miners out, I think this is represented by this part right here. Once China actually kicked all the miners out, they started kicking out in May and now they uh, continued in June. Basically, they had to shut off all at the same time, so the difficulty just plummeted. Coming back up won't be quite as easy. Yes, the slope is still pretty steep, but it won't be like a direct down. Like this only took a month for it to slide. You can see the slope here. It's like coming up, even coming up. I think it'll continue to go like that. And that's because... Um, all those miners in China packing stuff up cost a lot of money and shipping costs a lot of money too. I don't think they're coming here, like I've said before, because we have a 25% import tax from China and that's a big cost. They'll go to people, places like Kazakhstan and Russia, which I don't quite understand, that don't have that import tax. Um, America will probably try to develop its own industry, but remember, most of the world's ASICs are actually uh, made in China. It's going to take a long time. And plus, Labor over there is just cheaper, so it may not actually be economically feasible to actually produce the ASICs uh, and manufacture in the United States. Yeah, we might not manufacture them in China, but we might manufacture them overseas in another country. But that supply chain stuff actually takes time to set up. According to the slope, I do believe we will likely take about three months to actually recover at least back up to the 140, 150 mark. And I do think you'll see market price improvement as we go up there. So I would say like maybe a month, a month and a half, two months before we see like some kind of price hikes. And perhaps we have, to, we have to wait until like October or so, maybe November, for the market to get back up to 55, 60,000, according to this graph. I'm sure that as the hash rate, uh, rate improves, price will actually follow. And I think the hash rate will continue on like a V or possibly, w, well not V, like U or W shape uh, recovery because, you know, miners are moving over. The first batch has moved over to Kazakhstan. They will move more over to Kazakhstan, but not 100% are moving over. So you're going to need like internal industry from other countries to actually make up for the hash rate. But I do think people are going to jump on the opportunity. I do think places like Texas, Florida, Wyoming will actually take advantage of this and get in on the Bitcoin game. But the thing is, like, they won't be able to produce in, in mass like China, um, at least not very fast. In the next few months, I don't really expect the U.S. to really dominate the hash rate all that much. I do expect other countries to take large parts of it. But that's good because if each country takes a bit of the Chinese hash rate, then obviously, um, you know, it'll be much, much more decentralized. But that does mean that it will take about three months maybe for the hash rate to recover. And it might take three to four months towards the end of the year for us to reach the 55, 60,000 again. I still believe Bitcoin has a strong chance by December to reach 100,000, if not more. But that will actually depend on a lot of factors, including regulations from countries. But the hash rate, as you can see, is starting to go back up. It went up back up about 15%. And I do believe in the coming weeks, it will continue to go back up at about the same rate until we hit about 140. And then at 140, we might slow down a bit. But by, but by that time... Uh, price should have actually increased to maybe the $45,000, $50,000 range already. So that's kind of my analysis according to the total hash rate. The number of shorts um, right, has actually gone up in the couple, last couple of days. So there's still people uh, in the short term betting against Bitcoin. But I think if you look at the longer overall hash rate, I think uh, that's kind of what it's pointing to. Maybe a recovery this fall. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.